Does religion only continue because kids are taught at a young age? Not sure about the US but the most religions people I have met wear people who were raised in religion in their childhood, turned the back on it in their teens then came back after some traumatic event or midlife crisis. That's one of the big factors to why most religions are as big as they are. But it's not the only one. Plenty of people in later life find faith for different religions. Despite being atheist, agnostic earlier in life. The actual belief is only a small component. The social belonging is much more important. If people can find belonging through religion, logic and science are powerless. This can be seen in flat earthers who acknowledge that even if they were to find direct evidence against it, they wouldn't tell anyone, because it would upset their friends. Sometimes a bereaved person finds comfort for their loss in seeking and finding religion. They may be driven by the hopes of an afterlife and being reunited with their loved one. That said a bereaved person might also lose their faith and belief in God because of their loss. Any specific religion? Yes. Dogmatic beliefs in general? Hell no. One way or another, people will find something to believe in. Religion is going out of fashion? No problem. Here's a political leader or cause. Here's an Elon Musk cult. Here's some crypto. Too grounded? Here's some flat earth. I was raised Christian. And even after I stopped believing. I was terrified to tell my parents in case they hated me. Even though this thought was irrational and it didn't happen at all that way. Not exactly. But the growth would slow significantly if it was only taught to people when they are adults who've lived a little. My parents converted in their 20s. And most of my friends' parents were raised with O religion and then became religious when they got older. It's also culture. People convert as adults, too. So that can hardly be the only reason. But I think this is broadly true for all kinds of learning. Some things are widely taught to children. And if they don't learn it as children, people rarely take an interest in adults. For example, it sounds to me like you're not really seriously engaging with theological questions. And if you're not asking questions, then obviously you won't find answers either. There are a lot more disinterested people than there are devout believers in anything, including religion or atheism. Give me a child till he is seven years old, and I will show you the man. Saint Ignatius Loyola the founder of the Jesuit Brotherhood, a Catholic organization. Religion has existed in many different tribes or civilizations since humans were humans. I think it's just part of who we are and have evolved. My bleak outlook is one of acceptance. Born to die, bred to live. We are only guaranteed death. Nothing more or less. Your life should be spent for you and your loved ones. This is all you get. Make the best of it. I don't believe in the afterlife. No matter how much happier it might make me to think I could see my deceased family again. So all my energy goes into the life I have, and not the life I think I'll have in some perfect world after this one. There is also the stigma within some religions, especially those with a large group, network, that leads to the young complying to satisfy their elders, parents and grandparents, aunts and uncles, religious leaders, and are often disowned if they chose not to follow the religious teachings and is some cases worse. Plenty of honor killings in the news around the world including Western media. For the most part, in the state you see religion in USA. Specifically, the answer is yes. There are people who convert later in life and seek religion to help them cope with life events. But generally speaking, the largest group of churchgoers have never not gone to church. No, 
though I can see why you would think that from your personal experience. But the truth is that people of every age become religious. My experience is through Christianity. And make no mistake, your reasoning is why so many people go. As a Christian, I would call such people culturally Christian without actually believing the tenets of the religion. This isn't a new thing. Either. The Bible has discussion about this kind of thing going back thousands of years. Now, atheism specifically is a bit newer. But people who didn't care about religion are absolutely not new and have existed pretty much the whole time one way or another. The only thing that's really changed is that now unreasonable people aren't able to just outright kill the people who disagree with them. Most of the time at least. Not saying that all religious people in history did do this. Either, I'm just saying that enough did that there was a very real fear of the same happening to you for most of history. That is generally how culture is passed overall. It is taught to kids as part of the childhood. But there is people who become religious when they are adults also. Because churches are average welcoming, so if anyone is having a rough time they could become part of a church and when they hang out and improve they absorb part of the beliefs around them. A semi-common example is a drug addict who wants to get clean. They move to a new city or different part of their current one but they have no connections except drug connections, which would likely lead them back into addiction. But the church is always welcoming, especially for people putting into effort. And ultimately it isn't like religion. Outside of a few fringe sects, schools and cults is at odds with science since science is just a method of learning not some abstract ideology like religion is. And ultimately there is questions that science can't answer but religion attempts to. Which might bring comfort to some people. For the most part yes. But some people will adopt a belief system when they are older. It really helps that humans are irrational. We have to be taught and constantly practice rational and critical thinking. Even highly educated intelligent scientists will sometimes ignore reality to protect the beliefs. They want to be true. Usually that will be in areas outside their field. But it happens all the time. Could be having beliefs is what separates us from other animals and allows us to cooperate in. Participate in such massive numbers. I mean look at money, it's not real at all. It's a totally made up shared belief. We use items to represent it like coins, bills, and electronic accounts but it's really just the shared belief in it that makes it work. Plenty of people find their faith after being kids. The reborn phrase has been subverted by the crazy non-Christians pretending to be Christians. But in true Christianity one does need to be reborn in their faith according to scripture. Childhood faith can't contain what Christianity really is. In my experience, yes. Adults who weren't raised religious are very unlikely to believe at the same rates as children who were raised with beliefs for which there is no evidence. I was raised by two ordained ministers in an organization who used to openly say, get them while they're young and you'll have them for life. At the time it seemed like a good thing. Like teaching hygiene or self-respect. Now as an adult atheist. It seems unbelievably sinister and cynical. Our beliefs are so ridiculous that we can't get adults to believe them for very long. Religion seems to me to be one of the chief evils in the world. I've had to fight hard to protect my children from it. Until they got to an age where they could decide for themselves what they believe. For the most part, yes, there are some adult converts. But from the stories I've heard, anecdotal, I know, it seems that the majority of adult conversions happen in one of two ways. A. Person is raised within a religion. Person moves away from that religion in their youth. Possibly due to rebellious puberty or bad experiences with that religion. Person feels drawn towards theism as an adult. 
often because they're in a bad spot in life, and lands back in the same religion they were raised in, possibly with a different denomination. b. Person believes in a religion, or doesn't, or is agnostic. Person falls in love, but the partner is religious. In order to get married, person needs to convert. Those cases exist, and they're certainly more common than the third option of a person honestly searching and finding religion on their own. But the vast majority of religious people follow their religion because they were raised in it, and possibly would have faced adverse social consequences for leaving it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doomscrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.